Hello everyone and welcome to the Liberty Natatorium. The Liberty Natatorium is home of the Hornets of University of Lynchburg and today they are going against the famous Washington and Lee Generals. This meet for the Hornets and Generals are going to be long format and we are now starting with the women's 200 medley relay. In lane one for Lynchburg, we have Madison Claudie, Kylie Kolka, Molly Shan, and Sydney Strauss. In lane two for Washington and Lee, we have Tess Dyerly, Morgan Smith, Alyssa Uchtecht, and Estelle Fisher. In lane three for the, for the Hornets, we have Lindsay Hare, Caroline Murata, Emma Kate Russell, and Corinne Ford. In lane four for the Generals, we have Sarah Gaston, Amelia Malkaz, Bella Tarbat and Sophia Rollo. In lane five for the Hornets, we have Caitlin Moore, Claire Galloway, Regan Leach, and Savannah Burrows. In lane six for the Generals, we have Sally Ennis, Paige McBoyle, Jilly Cantrell, and Myla Rice. Lane seven for the Hornets, we have Kylie Hostetter, Grace Salkine, Madeline Foreman, and Erin Wokowski. And finally, in lane eight for Washington and Lee, we have Claire Grant, Jess Snyder, Mary Airdon and Lawson Brantley. We are now heading into the butterfly portion of the 200 medley relay. It looks as if the generals have a fair one two lead with the Hornets in third right now. And we're off for the freestyle for the Hornets and Generals. Washington and Lee was still a pretty good first place start. Lynchburg catching up the second place against the Generals. Our leaders are on their last lap, about to close in. First place, Washington and Lee. Second, Lynchburg with Savannah Burroughs coming in. Stealing second place. First place, medley relay had a time of 150.24. Second place was Lynchburg with a time of 151. Third place, Washington and Lee. And now up next, we have the men's 200 medley yard relay. Starters about to start them as they enter the pool. In lane one for the gentlemen of University of Lynchburg, we have Owen Howery, Mason Swanner, Jacob Honnett, and Logan Canton. In lane two for the generals, we have Caleb Yao, James Wider, Malkai Eberly, and Matt Snyder. Lane three for the Hornets, we have Trevor O'Neill, Ashton Watterson, Eric Witt, and Miles Fitzgerald. Lane four for the Generals, we have Matt Fritz, Todd Eccles, Thomas Denton, and, Brax and Baxter Smelzer. Sorry for that. Lane five for the Hornets, we have Colton Schnars, Chris Jennings, Parker Hands, William Kasemeyer. Lane six, Generals, Jackson Hall, Harrison Cerrone, Peyton Crawford, and Charles Byers. Seven, Hornets, Ama Callan Campbell, Ahmad Woodson, Ben Myers, Toby Lenema, Lane 8, Generals, Charlie Moore, Bennett Arite, Stephen Savage, and Drew Ladig. We are on the butterfly portion with the Hornets in the lead right now. Parker Hands has a pretty good lead on the Generals. And in go, they go for the last lap. This is going to be a tight one. Generals now have the lead. We're going into the flip into the last lap. It is close. They're coming into the flags. Who will touch first? Generals, Lynchburg, Generals. Outstanding performance. We have... Generals first, Lynchburg second, Generals third. Excellent race by these boys. 
This is a very hard battle fought. Generals came out on top. And we are now on the women's 1,000 yard freestyle. I cannot get over that men's 200 medley relay. That was exciting. You know, some people say that swimming is boring. They haven't been to enough swim meets. Coming from a swimmer myself, well, retired swimmer, I should say. I do not swim anymore. Yes, next we are getting ready for the men, women's 1,000 yard freestyle. There is only one heat of this. This event is 40 laps of the pool. So a bit more than a 500, but a bit less than a mile. A good middle ground for our distance swimmers. All right, our women are about to get up on the block for the 1,000-yard freestyle. And they are off. In lane one, we have Emma Grace Spock. In lane two, we have Katherine Alsobrook. In lane three, we have Natalie Rogers. In lane four, we have Maria Jeltig. At lane five, we have Savannah Solenberger. At lane six, we have Pari Amadi. At lane seven, we have Francesca Kuchna. And at lane eight, we have Danny Hackman. Washington and Lee have a pretty good lead going to the sixth lap.
All right, our leaders are about to flip at the halfway mark right now. Our leader currently is in lane four. Her name is Maria Jellig, and I am sorry if her family or friends are watching right now and I pronounce her last name wrong. I deeply, deeply apologize. But she is a freshman, and she is from Haddonfield, New Jersey. I wonder if she's excited about the Phillies being in the World Series. I know I am coming from Philly. Yeah, she's looking good. In high school, Maria was a four-year letter winner on the swimming team at the Haddonfield Memorial High School and helped the team win three state championships. She was first team all conference in the 100 back and the 400 free relay and third team all South Jersey in the 100 back. Earned the four year varsity letter award and she was also a member of the National Honor Society. Our second placer right now is Perry Amadi. And again, sorry if I'm pronouncing that name wrong. She is also from Washington and Lee, and she is a junior from Medfield, Massachusetts. She has been a one-year letter winner for the Generals in the past, and she placed Third in the 200 fly in the 2021 team's trial event, team's time trial event. And in high school, she was a three-year letter winner on the on her high school swimming team and a team captain as a senior and three-time team MVP. Our leaders in the pool right now are coming up on their last four laps of this 1,000. So our leader just currently flipped at our 36th lap with a time currently being, let's see, 10.22, 10.23, she's about to flip. She is a three laps left.
And the bell rings, and she's on her last 50, her last two laps. And first place, Washington and Lee. Second place, Washington and Lee. First place, Maria Jellig with the time of 11.15.87. Second place, Pari Amadi with the time of 1.18.22. Third place, we have Catherine also Brook with a time of 11.33.70. You see Savannah Solenberger on her last lap coming in strong. She will get fourth in this event. Lynchburg touches the wall. Savannah Sullenberger getting fourth with a 12.06.34. Excellent race for all these girls so far. Natalie Rogers in sixth. Emma Grace Spock in seventh. And in fifth, we have Danny Hackman. Danny won a 12.11.54. Natalie Rogers won a 12-15-58. Emma Grace won a 12-15. And in eighth place, we have Danny Hackman going a... No, Francesca Kuchna going a 12-34-69. My, de my deepest apologies for that. Excellent race by the girls. We are now on to the men. And the men are off for their 40 laps. In lane two, for, for the Generals, we have Will Baxley. In lane three, for the Hornets, we have Zachary Bennett. In lane four, for the Generals, we have Jacob Tier. In lane five, for the Hornets, we have Eric Witt. In lane six, for the Generals, we have Stephen Ewing. In lane seven, for the Hornets, we have Toby Lima. And then in lane eight, for the Generals, we have Connor Smith. The gentlemen just flipped for their 100 into this 1,000. We have Eric Witt on the top right now.
are almost at the halfway mark and freshman Eric Witt has picked up his lead a little bit. Second place right now we have Stephen Ewing and in third place we have Jacob Tier. Freshman from Lynchburg about to flip. He is halfway there.
freshman Eric Witt about to flip into his last 50 of the 1,000 free. You know, he really maintained a pretty strong lead and he has just been flying ever since. He's almost, almost a lap ahead of his other competitors. Here he comes into the wall, still kicking, might I add. Boom. First place for Eric Witt, the freshman, going at 10.23.31. Incredible swim by Witt, honestly. Second place, we have Stephen Ewing. Again, I am so sorry if I pronounced that name wrong, with the 10.36.98. And third place, we have Jacob Tier with a 10 40 58. Fourth place, we have Will Baxley with a 10 53 35. Fifth place, Connor Smith with a 10 58 28. We have our second Hornet coming into the wall, Toby Lima in sixth place with an 11 06 81. Zach Bennett is making his way into the wall right now. A senior for the University of Lynchburg. He has another 50 to go. You know, if you've never met Zach Bennett, he is just the nicest, sweetest guy you will ever meet. I know when I was on the team for University of Lynchburg, he was just, he was such a great guy. He really gets you going. Like, he really pumps you up to do well in your races. He's just the light and energy that you have on a team, like the life of the party, so to say. So here comes in Zach Bennett, finishing off the men's 1,000 freestyle. Zach Bennett with a time of 12 minutes 68. Awesome job by the gentleman. And we are now moving on to the women's 200 yard freestyle. There are two heats. We are now going into heat one right now. This is the eight lap event and they are about to get started. And the ladies are off. In lane one, we have freshman Sydney Strauss. In lane two, from Washington and Lee, we have Tess Dyerly. In lane three, from Lynchburg, we have Lindsay Hare. In lane four for the generals, we have Bryn Martinson. Lane five for the Hornets, we have Delaney Kennedy. Lane six for the generals, Alyssa Uktek. In lane seven for the Hornets, Madeline Corbett. And lane eight for the generals, Skylar Ross. And this is heat one of two. We are into the 100 right now with Bryn Martinson in first place. She went out on a Bryn Martinson has a good lead. It's hard to tell. Washington and Lee in second, but I see Delaney Kennedy fighting for that third place spot. First place, Bryn Martinson with a 157.09. Second place, Washington and Lee, Tess with a 201. 98, third place, we have Skylar Ross with a 202. Alyssa 
from the Generals with a 203, and then Delaney Kennedy in fifth with a 204. Awesome job by this first heat. We are now on to the second heat for the 200 yard freestyle. This heat is full of the generals from Washington and Lee. And they're off. So for the generals, we have in lane two, freshman Margaret Bemdeek. Sorry again if I pronounced that name wrong. In lane four, we have the junior. Lawson Brantley, and in lane six, we have the sophomore, Estelle Fisher. First place right now, we have Margaret. She split a 59.02 for the halfway point of her 200 free. We are on the last 50 of the women's 200 free, and then we are going to go into the men's 200 free. As I said before, this is a long format meet. So as you will see the hundreds of stroke, you will also see all the 200s of stroke. So I'm very excited about that. First place, we have Margaret with a 203.99. Second place, Estelle, 204.31. Third place, Lawson, 211.05. Excellent race by these girls. Incredible. Now we have event number six, men's 200 yard freestyle. This is heat one of two for the gentlemen. As they go off the block, I will tell you who is in each lane? And they're off. In lane one for Lynchburg, we have Matt Fields. In lane two for the Generals, Malachi Eberly. In lane three for the Hornets, Ryan Legg. Lane four for the Generals, Dalton Job. And lane five for the Hornets, Ahmad Woodson. Lane six, Generals, Luke Nagel. Seven, Hornets, Miles Fitzgerald. Eight, Generals, CJ Hovis. Again, the seat one of two for the men's 200 yard freestyle. Right now we have Washington and Lee in the lead. Dalton went out in a 50.98 and he is in first place. All the men in the pool are now on their last 50. And then we have heat two once again.
Dalton Job is about to touch the wall. 143-54 for Dalton. Dalton Job, the freshman from the Generals. Going a 143 in second place. We have Luke Nagel, 146. Third place, Malachi, 150. We are now on to the second heat. And as soon as the men go off, I will tell you who's in what lane. And they're off. In lane two for the generals, we have Matthew Fricker. Lane four for the generals, we have Sam Stetler. Lane five for the Hornets, we have Junior Jackson Satan. Lane six for the generals, Aiden Dold. And lane eight for the generals, Drew Leidig. Men are about to flip right now at the halfway mark. In first place, we have Drew. He split a 54 46. And in first place, we have Drew from the Generals. Drew Leidig with a 154.69. Second, Aiden Dole with a 154.89. Third, Matthew Fricker, 158. Jackson Sitton, fourth, 159. Sam Stetler, 201.48. Up next, we have the women's 100-yard backstroke. There are two heats in this, and as soon as they get started, I will tell you who is in which lane. And they're off. In lane one for the Hornets, we have Madison Claudy. Lane two for the Generals, we have Sarah Gaston. Lane three for the Hornets, we have Kylie Hostetter. Lane four for the Generals, we have Sophia Rolo. Lane five for the Hornets, we have Caitlin Moore. Lane six for the Generals, we have Sally Ennis. Lane seven for the Hornets, we have Aaron Wolkowski. And in lane eight for the Generals, we have Claire Grant. And in first place, we have Sophia Rolo touching in at a 59.88. Second, we have Sarah Gasson with a one minute 6.3. Third, we have Sally Ennis who won a 101.29. Up next, we have Heat Two of Two. For the women's 100 yard backstroke.
in lane three for the Hornets, we have Mackenzie Betts. Lane four for the Generals, we have Laney Valentin. And lane five for the Hornets, we have Jordan Reeder. And in lane six for the Generals, we have Julie Cantrell. Again, this is heat two of two for the women's 100 yard backstroke. Up next, we have the men's 100 backstroke. There will be two heats. And in first, we have Julie Cantra with a 102.78. In second, Lainey Valentin with a 105.65. Third, Jordan Reeder, 112.98. And in fourth, we have Mackenzie Betts with a 119.82. Excellent job to these ladies. Now we are on to the men. And the gentlemen are off. In lane one for Lynchburg, we have Kellen Campbell. Lane two for the Generals, we have Luke Osleger. Lane three for the Hornets, we have Tyler Cadden. Lane four for the Generals, we have Matt Fritz. Lane five for the Hornets, we have Colton Schnars. Lane six for the Generals, we have Jackson Hall. Lane seven for the Hornets, we have Trevor O'Neill. And lane eight for the Generals, we have Charlie Moore. They just flipped. And in first place, we have Colton Schnars as of this moment. He split a 25-36. Colton Schnars is coming into the wall. He won a 52-54. First place for Colton Schnarz. Second place, we have Matt Fritz with the 54-40. Third place, we have Jackson Hall with the 55-22. Up next, we have Heat 2 of the men's 100-yard backstroke. And these gentlemen are off. In lane four, we have Jake Shod, freshman from Washington and Lee. And in five, we have Logan Canton, the freshman from University of Lynchburg. They are flipped. Jake went out in a 28.06, I believe, and Logan went out in a Jake Shaw at first, 57.97. Logan, second, 58.66. Awesome job by these gentlemen. And now we are on to the women's 100 yard breaststroke. There will be two heats. This first is heat one.
And these ladies are off. In lane one, we have from Lynchburg, Caroline Murata. Lane two for the Generals, Morgan Smith. Lane three for the Hornets, Sophia Shore. Lane four for the Generals, Paige McBoyle. Lane five for the Hornets, Claire Galloway. Lane six for the Generals, Amelia Malkaz. Lane seven for the Hornets, Regan Leach. And lane eight for the Hornets, or sorry, pardon me, for the Generals, Josh Schneider. At the 50, we have Amelia in first. She split a 32-37. But if you look at the pool right now, it is pretty even all the way across. Everyone's fighting to get up there. They're coming into the flags. It's a fight for first. Claire Galloway pulls ahead at the last second and takes first place with a time of 108.89. Awesome swim by Galloway. Exquisite swim. Oh, I wish I could tell you the rest of the times, but the board blanked out too quickly. But it was an excellent swim all around by all the swimmers. We are now on the heat two of two for the women's 100 yard breaststroke. As soon as they go off, I will tell you who's in what lane. All right. In lane three, for the Hornets, we have Peyton Talamy. In lane four, for the Generals, we have Annabelle Simmington. Lane five, for the Hornets, we have Kylie Kolka. Lane six for the Generals, we have Matt Kwansnick. And lane seven for the Hornets, we have Grace Alkind. Just touched at the 50. Kwasnick is in first place with a split of 34-26. After the women's 100 breaststroke, we have up next, you guessed it, the men's 100 breaststroke. There's only one heat of this event, unlike our other events that we've had previously. And first, we have Kwasnick, 112.70. In second, we have Grace Alcon, 114. Third, Annabelle, 114.09. Fourth, Kylie Coca, and in fifth, it was Peyton Salome. Up next, we have heat one of one of the men's 100-yard brushstroke. The gentlemen are off. In lane one, we have from Lynchburg, Mason Swanner. Lane two for the Generals, we have James Wider. Lane three for the Hornets, we have Ashton Watterson. Lane four for the Generals, we have Todd Eccles. Lane five for the Hornets, we have Chris Jennings. Lane six for the Generals, we have Harrison Cerrone. We have Chris Jennings in first right now with a split of 2781. And Lane seven, we have Owen Howery. Lane eight, we have Caleb Yao. And in lane nine, we have Evan Gavin. These men are battling it out right now. Excellent pull out by these gentlemen. They are all close. It is neck and neck and neck. Coming into the wall, it's gonna be Chris Jennings. Going a 59.98, getting first place. Amazing swim by Chris. In second, we have Todd Eccles with a minute point one two, and in third, we have Harrison Cerrone with a one minute point fifty three. Amazing swim by Chris Jennings. 
incredible swim. Up next, we have the women's one, no, excuse me, women's 200 yard butterfly. This is gonna be eight laps of butterfly. These ladies are off for heat one of one. In lane two, we have Haley Robinson for the Generals. In lane three, for the Hornets, we have Madeline Foreman. Lane four, for the Generals, we have Megan Brack Baxley. Lane five, for the Hornets, we have the senior, Molly Shand. Lane six for the Generals, we have Molly Penisi. I am so sorry, Molly Penisi and her family. Uh, if I pronounce that wrong, I am so very sorry. In lane seven for the Hornets, we have Caroline Inskeep. And then lane eight for the Generals, we have Clara Attar. Looks like Megan Baxley touched first after the first 50. At the 100 mark, we have Megan Baxley touching. She is splitting a 102.18. No! You know, I remember the one and only time I swam 200 fly. These ladies look a whole lot better than I ever did swimming it, my one time swimming it. 200 Fly is one of those events where you just, you just gotta go. Megan Baxley touching again, going into her last 50. You turn your attention to lane five, the senior Molly Shand is doing an excellent job in her two fly right now. I am very, I am, well, I'll say I'm very good friends with Molly. I don't know if she feels the same way, but you know, she is just an excellent leader on this team. It is an honor to be her friend, and I, sorry, I'm getting a little deep right now. Anyway, um, in first place, we have Megan Baxley with the 2-12-33. Third place, we have Car Clara Attar with the 2 20 Sorry, did I say second place? Second place, we have Haley Robinson with a 219. Third place, we have Clara Attar, there we go, with a 221. I got distracted talking about all my higher remarks from Molly Shan that I didn't realize the race finished. But anyway, just know if you ever, Mo if you ever meet Molly Shan, incredible. Awesome, awesome leader for this team and in life. Up next, we have the men's 200 yard butterfly. After the men get started, I will tell you who's at each lane. There's only one heat. All right. In lane one, we for Lynchburg, we have Henry Walls. Lane two for the Generals, we have Peyton Crawford. Lane three for the Hornets, we have Ben Myers. Lane four for the Generals, we have Reese Nelson. Lane five for the Hornets, Parker Hands. Lane six for the Generals, we have Thomas Denton. Lane seven for the Hornets, we have Landon Ellis. And lane eight for the Generals, we have Steven Savage. The gentlemen just touched for their 50. We have Thomas Deaton in first as of the moment. At the 100 mark, we have Thomas Denton splitting a 55-53. He is out in first right now.
These gentlemen are now on their last 50 of the 200 yard butterfly. You know, the best thing about watching these amazing swimmers swim is they make this event look so easy. When I can assure you, it is not. It is not easy at all. Thomas Denton touching in first. Oh, I apologize. Reese Nelson touching in first with the 159.34. Thomas Denton is in second with the 202.28. And third, we have Peyton Crawford with the 202.31. Fourth, we have Ben Myers with a 203.07. Fifth, we have Parker Hands with a 204.77. In seventh place, in sixth place, was Landon Ellis. Up next, we have the women's 50 yard freestyle. Since this event is very fast, I am going to talk while the announcer starts them. But in lane one, we have and the Kate Russell. In lane two, we have Faith Sconing. In lane three, we have Sophia Shore. In lane four, we have Bryn Martinson. In lane five, we have Savannah Burrows. In lane six, we have Myla Rice. In lane seven, Corinne Ford. And in lane eight, Bella Tarbit. This is heat one of two. Fight for first. Bryn Martinson comes out on top with a 24.03. Savannah Burrows with a 24.38. Lane three, we have Myla Rice with a 25.02. Not, did I say lane three? I meant place, I'm in third place. My apologies. Up next, we have heat two of two. In lane three, we have Mackenzie Betts, and in lane five, we have Kylie Hostetter. And these ladies are off for their 50 of freestyle. We have Kylie Hofstetter coming in at a 26.90. Incredible swim for Kylie Hofstetter. And McKenny, Mackenzie Betts coming in at a 29.82. Incredible swim for both of, both of these Hornet ladies. And up next, we have the men's 50 freestyle. This is heat one of two. I am going to say their names as he starts them because this event is going to be fast ladies and gentlemen I can promise you that in lane one we have Matt Fields in lane two we have Charles Byers in lane three we have Tyler Catton in lane four we have Baxter Smelzer in lane five we have William Kasemeyer lane six we have Jackson Flower in lane seven we have Toby Lima and in lane eight we have Patrick Carr. Again, this is heat one of two men's 50 yard freestyle. And these men are off. Gonna be close. We have Baxter coming in first with a 21.88. Tyler Cannon in second with a 22.12. In third, we have Charles Charles Byers, the 22.44. And fourth, we have William Casemeyer with a 22.47. Up next, we have Heat two of two for the men's 50-yard freestyle. Again, I'm gonna say it before they start so that 
you guys know because this event will go fast. In lane three, we have Evan Gavin. In lane five, we have Jacob Hodnett. And in lane seven, we have Gavin Wietendorf, all from the University of Lynchburg. Gavin Wietendorf comes out on top with a 24-27. Jacob Hodnett comes in second with a 24-32. Very close race, race for them. That was touch-touch. And Evan Gavin in third with a 26-52. And now... We are going into a 15 minute break. So I will see you back after these 15 minutes. Private education is too expensive? Think again. At the University of Lynchburg, you can get a personalized education for the cost of a state school. If you're commuting and you get our top scholarships, you could pay much less. And you get all that without the hassle of giant lecture halls. Our faculty know your name here and do more than just teach. You might even do research together and plan out your next career moves. Every great college has a great city. For Lynchburg, we are near urban areas with lots of restaurants, shopping, and events. Plus, we are one of the top schools in the area. Come see for yourself. Get your career in the game by enrolling in the University of Lynchburg MBA program with an emphasis in sport management. This program opens the doors to new possibilities for a variety of careers. From being an athletic director or working in athletic administration to working for professional organizations, your favorite team to running a local parks and rec department. And employers are increasingly requesting and preferring individuals who have postgraduate education specifically looking for an MBA. And so the University of Lynchburg Sport Management concentration in the MBA program sets you up for success and it sets you apart from the many other people looking for jobs in the industry. Learn from winners. Here you will learn from professors and mentors who have spent their careers doing exactly what you want to do. Increase your marketability in an $83 billion industry. If you have a 3.0 GPA, the GMAT is waived. There's no application fee. Admissions occurs on a rolling basis. 
and our online program is ideal for working adults. When you enroll in this program, you enroll in the opportunity to learn from the best of the best. Your professors have a wealth of experience working in the sport industry that they share with you in the classroom setting. Get in the game by getting your MBA with a sport management concentration at the University of Lynchburg. Let's see now, Hollywood, here I come. Hey, I meant you. Yeah. <laughs> Autograph that later. Let's to do physical therapy and kind of one of the best um, tracks to physical therapy was exercise physiology. The Brook Hill um, is the most amazing place, um, probably one of my favorite places to be. I came in working here through the Bonner program, um, so just volunteering here as much as I could and it really does incorporate um, not only like the horses that I really like but also my major and that kind of really sparked an interest for my thesis. I'm really studying how, how the therapeutic horseback riding affects children with autism. So far we have seen an increase in every single test that we've done, um, both the physical test and the emotional test. There's opportunities for every type of interest you could possibly have and the professors really do care about you on an individual level. Um, it's not just a big lecture with 300 people, it's really kind of one-to-one -one learning and I think that's really what makes it special. Hey, hey Tracy. Can I photobomb? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hard to see. <laughs> stranded. I hope someone saves her. She's fine. <laughs> Where are we going today, Tim? Monument Creek. How far? Debatable. <laughs> How do you think it's going to go? I think it's going to go well. I think we're going to have one big climb that's going to kind of suck. But then after that, we're going to have some incredible views. And it's happening. It's very mental. The worst part is when you first start, but you gotta keep going and you take your breaks and you look up and you enjoy the view and it's all worth it. Hey mom, it's just Kate and I here. Hey Jean, eating some jerky? It's extra good at this spot. How's it going? Great. Well, how, that's what you ask every, what do you think? How's it going? Well, what else am I gonna ask? What do you think about the river, Megan? Pretty cool. Well, great answer. Done, done. Megan, how was the open air toilet? How would you rate it on a scale of one to ten? Based on I don't know. At points I just wanted to give up, but <laughs> I didn't and I just kept pushing. Whoa! Hardcore, parkour! She on X game mode. Big.
When creating a sustainable future, your choices matter, even your choice of a college. The University of Lynchburg is the first college in Virginia to go carbon neutral. Our dining hall is green restaurant certified. We compost all of our food waste and purchase our electricity from landfill gas. Now we're turning a hazardous lake into a thriving urban wetland. When you choose Lynchburg, you leave a smaller footprint while building a better tomorrow. Lynchburg is all about you, your ideas, and your goals. We've got one professor for every 10 students, so you can get all the support you need. In the classroom, in the lab, or in nature, You'll learn by putting yourself out there, and we're right there with you. This is the doll. It's wicked cute. It's always so pretty. So, what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. I thoroughly enjoy paddling, so we can just do that. But I go by Tim. Most people know me as the outdoor guy. I run the outdoor leadership program. We have the pleasure of taking students in outdoor recreation trips, and we do a lot of leadership engagement. We do a lot of leadership training. I teach a lot. I think of myself as an outdoor educator. We do a lot of certification courses, swift water rescue, wilderness medicine. Everything we do, even the recreational trips, have a lot of education and leadership built into them as well. Now we're running, you know, 30 trips a semester and most of those trips are five dollars or free. We do a lot uh, trying to remove the barriers for students to get outside. You know, I don't want cost to be a reason someone can't come out and enjoy nature. So I'm trying to remove those and remove some of the societal stigma, which is, and creating, you know, culture change, it, it takes a long time to happen, but uh, that's, that's the goal. I have a passion for um, expedition type trips where we really get to go out and go to a place and really experience it and get, get out in the wild. So we've gone to Big Bend. We've gone multi-day canoe trips down the James River. We've gone to the Everglades. Most recently, we did a backpacking trip through the Grand Canyon. So my job is to really put them in the situations where they grow and can prosper, and then they can take those situations and apply them to their life broadly. You know, I believe to, to really understand and want to protect wild spaces, you need to have a relationship with them. So you know, if I can get the students to care, about these spaces and give them a relationship, then they're more likely to, to want to protect them. My name is Alexis Fabula. I major in criminology and I double minor in psychology and criminal forensics. My favorite part about Lynchburg is the friends that I've um, come to have. It's helped me come out of my shell more and it's helped me become the person I am and the student I am. I really enjoyed how small the campus was and I also really enjoy um, how small the class sizes are. It made me feel like I was gonna be more engaged than I would at a bigger campus. If someone was on the fence of coming to the University of Lynchburg, I would definitely love to sit down and have a conversation with them because I'm forever grateful that I made this choice. Um, it's definitely something that a student wouldn't regret. I, out of my four years here, I've not had one bad experience. I've had a great four years and I'm gonna be very sad to go. This video isn't about me. It's about the limitless possibilities that the University of Lynchburg allows me to be. An athlete, an artist, 
an adventurer, a writer, a believer, a human. Because what I love about the University of Lynchburg is that they have a saying, here we're home. And honestly though, I think a better fit would be a home for everyone. Because it doesn't matter the color of your skin, the person you love, the God you pray to, the pronouns you use, the city you're from, the language you speak. University of Lynchburg gives you the greatest opportunity they can for you to be the absolute best version of yourself. All right, we are now on to the women's. One hundred yard freestyle. In first place, we have Bryn Martinson with a time of 52.67. In second, we have Savannah Burrows with a time of 54.18. In third, we have Milo Rice with a time of 54.38. And now we're on heat two of two for the women's 100 yard freestyle. In lane three for the Hornets, we have freshman Sydney Strauss. In lane four for the Generals, we have freshman Skylar Ross. And in lane five, we have the senior from Lynchburg, Molly Shand. Skylar Ross touches flips first with a time of 26 62 as a split molly shan with her split as a 28 89 and sydney strauss with her split of a 30 72. And Skylar Ross touches first with a time of 56.41. Molly Shan comes in in second with a time of 102.03. And Sydney Strauss in third with a time of 104.14. Up next, we have the men's 100-yard freestyle. There are two heats of this event. And I am going to start saying their names a little bit early before they go off the block because, again, this race goes quickly. In lane one for the Hornets, we have Miles Fitzgerald. In lane two for the Generals, we have Baxter Smelzer. Lane three for the Hornets, we have William Kasemeyer. Lane four for the Generals, we have Dalton Job. Lane five for the Hornets, we have Colton Schnars. Lane six for the Generals, we have Charles Byers. Lane seven for the Hornets, we have Tyler Caden. And in lane eight for the Generals, we have Drew Leidig. Gentlemen are about to flip for their 50. Dalton Job is in first with a split of 22.98. Colton Schnars not that far behind with a split of a 23.09. And in first we have Dalton Job with a time of 46.79. In second, we have Colton Schnars with a time of 47.55. In third, we have Charles Byers with a time of 48.58. And now we are in heat two 
of two for the men's 100-yard freestyle. Again, I'm going to say the names before they start because, as you just saw, these times are fast. These boys go fast. Lane one for the generals, we have Sam Stetler. Lane two for the generals, we have C.J. Hovis. Lane three for the Hornets, we have Logan Canton. Lane four for the generals, we have Patrick Carr. Lane five for the Hornets, we have Gavin Weidendorf. Lane six for the generals, we have Connor Smith. And lane seven for the Hornets, we have Evan Gavin. And these gentlemen are off. And the flip first is Gavin Wiedendorf with a split of 24-52. With Patrick Carr trailing not so far behind with a split of 24-73. Gavin Wietendorf coming into the flags, getting first place with a time of 50.94. Excellent swim for Gavin Wietendorf. Patrick Carr in second with a time of 51.77. In third, we have Logan Canton with a time of 52.38. In fourth, we have CJ Hovis with a time of 52.72. In fifth, we have Connor Smith with a time of 53.52. Six, Sam Smith. Stetler with a time of 55.03. Seventh, Evan Gavin with a time of 105.55. Up next, we have the women's 200 yard backstroke. That is eight laps, eight laps, excuse me, eight laps of backstroke for these ladies. All right, and the ladies are off in lane one. For Lynchburg, we have Jordan Reeder. Lane two for the Generals, we have Sally Ennis. Lane three for the Hornets, we have Madison Claudy. Lane four for the Generals, we have Sophia Rollo. Lane five for the Hornets, we have freshman Caitlin Moore. Lane six for the Generals, we have Laney Valentin. Lane seven for the Hornets, we have Mackenzie Betts. And in lane eight for the Generals, we have Sarah Gaston. These ladies just flipped. They are halfway done. And coming into the wall, in first place, we have Sarah Gaston from Washington and Lee with time of 2.12.12. 2 12, 12. 2 12, 12 is her time. In second place, we have Sophia Rolo with a time of 2.12.44. And in third place, we have Sally Ennis with a time of 2.17.31. In fourth place, we have Lainey Valentin with a time of 20, excuse me, 220.29. In fifth place, we have Caitlin Moore with a time of 221.47. In sixth place, we have Madison Claudia with a time of 226.63. 
In seventh place, we have Jordan Reeder with a time of 2.37.40. And in eighth place, we have Mackenzie Betts with a time of 2.51.15. Up next, we have Heat 2 of 2 for the women's 200-yard backstroke. And these ladies are off. In lane four, we have the senior, Claire Grant, for the generals. And at lane six, we have the junior, Tess Dyerly, for the generals as well. Tessa split for the first 50 is a 31-45, and Claire Grant split for the 50 is a 33-34. For the 100 splits, we have Tess flipping in at 105.66 and Claire Grant flipping in at These ladies are now on their last two laps of the 200-yard backstroke. And up next, we have the men's 200-yard backstroke. Tess Dyerly touches first with a time of 2.15.68. And Claire Grant touches in with a time of 2.22.37. Excellent job by these two ladies swimming the 200 back. Up next, we have the men's 200-yard backstroke. Heat one of one. All right, for the men, in lane two, we have Bennett Errett for the Generals. In lane three, we have Owen Howery for the Hornets. In lane four, we have Jackson Hall for the Generals. In lane five, we have Trevor O'Neill for the Hornets. In lane six, we have Charlie Moore for the Generals. In lane seven, we have Kellen Campbell for the Hornets. And in lane eight, we have Caleb Yao for the Generals. Just flipped. And Jackson Hall just split a 27.94 for the first 50, and Trevor O'Neill split a 28.01.
flipping again for the 100. We have Jackson Hall flipping at 57.88 and Trevor O'Neill flipping at And we have Jackson Hall finishing first, coming in with a 158.85. Caleb Yao coming in second with a 204.68. Trevor O'Neill coming in third with a time of 205.83. And fourth, we have Bennett Errett with a time of 206.18. And up next, we have the women's 200 yard brushstroke. There will be two heats of this event. And I will tell you who's swimming once they get off the block. There seems to be some technical difficulties with one of the touch pads. I believe that was in lane three. I think they're checking all the touch pads just to make sure that they're all on the wall correctly and everyone's getting their splits correct. All right, here we go. We are back in business, ladies and gentlemen. And they're off. In lane one for Lynchburg, we have Caroline Inskeep. In lane two for the Generals, we have Morgan Smith. Lane three for the Hornets, we have Regan Leach. Lane that was lane three for the Hornets. Lane four for the Generals, we have Paige McBoyle. Lane five for the Hornets, we have Delaney Kennedy. Lane six for the Generals, we have Amelia Malkaz. Lane seven for the Hornets, we have Sophia Shore. And in lane eight for the Generals, we have Annabelle Simmington. 
Coming into the wall first for the first 50 split, we have Amelia Malkaz with a Paige McBoyle touching for the 100 split first with a 111.40. Seems like lane six and lane five, Amelia Malkaz and Zelina Kennedy are neck and neck right now, fighting for that second place spot. And these ladies are on their last 50 of the 200 yard brush stroke. And touching the wall first, we have Paige McBoyle coming with a 228.62. In second, we have Amelia Matcalls with a time of 230.76. And Delaney Kennedy in third with a time of 231.20. And fourth, we have Regan Leach with a time of 235.20. And fifth, we... I didn't see who we had. They flipped the screen too fast. But up next, we are on the heat two of two of the women's 200-yard breaststroke. And these ladies are off in lane three. For the Hornets, we have Natalie Rogers. In lane four, for the Generals, we have Jess Snyder. In lane five, for the Hornets, we have Kylie Coca. And in lane seven, for the Hornets, we have Grace Alkine. Touching first for the 50, we have Jess Snyder with a split of 36-39. And second, split Grace Alkine, 36-69. Third, Kylie Kolka. And fourth, Natalie Rogers. For the 100 split, we have Jess Snyder coming in at 118.33. And Grace Alkine coming in at 118.47. Very close between these two girls up in front. Grace Alkine touches first, going into the last 50 of her 200 yard breaststroke.
And coming into the wall first, we have Grace Salkine coming in at 243.35. In second place, we have Jess Snyder coming in at 247.66. And Kylie Kolka coming back strong, coming in at 248.01. And Natalie Rogers coming in fourth with a time of 254.58. Excellent job by these ladies. Up next, we have the men's 200 yard breaststroke, heat one of one. All right, for these gentlemen in lane one, we have for the Hornets, Zach Bennett. In lane two, for the generals, we have James Wider. Lane three, for the Hornets, we have Chris Jennings. Lane four, for the Generals, we have Todd Eccles. Lane five, for the Hornets, we have Ashton Waterson. Lane six, for the Generals, we have Harrison Cerrone. And in lane seven, for the Hornets, we have Mason Swanner. Touching first for the Generals is Todd Echoes with a split of 104.01. Touching second for the Generals, Cerrone with a time of 104.90. And touching third was Chris Jennings. And I am so sorry I missed his split. But it was around Cerrone's. All these gentlemen are now on their last 50 of the 200 yard brush stroke. And touching first for the generals, we have Todd Echoes at the time of 214.72. In second, we have Col uh, Harrison Cerrone with a time of 217.29. And Chris Jennings coming in third. Coming in with a time of 2.17.56. In fourth, we have Ashton Watterson with a time of 2.23.68. In fifth, we have Mason Swanner with a time of 2.29.64. In sixth, we have James Wider with a time of 2.32.89. And in seventh, we have Zach Bennett with a time of 2.41.77. Up next, we have the women's 500-yard freestyle. There is only one heat of this event and it is 20 laps. So earlier, it is only half of what some of these ladies did earlier. And these ladies are off for their 500-yard freestyle. In lane one, for the Hornets, we have Peyton Tolomi. In lane two, for the Generals, we have Pari Amadi. In lane three, for the Hornets, we have Aaron Wolkowski. Lane four, for the Generals, we have Megan Baxley. Lane five, for the Hornets, we have Madeline Corbett. Lane six, for the Generals, we have Margaret Beimdeek. In lane seven, for the Hornets, we have Caroline Murata. And in lane eight, for the Generals, we have... Lawson Brantley. These ladies just flipped for the first 50, and Megan Baxley is in the lead with a split of 29 46.
In our leader, Megan Baxley right now is about to flip in at the halfway mark. She is 10 laps down, 10 more to go. If you bring your attention to lane five and six, Madeline Corbett and Margaret Beimdeek are battling out for the third and fourth place right now. Looks like they are really pacing off each other and inching up one by one to see which one can place above the other. Madeline Cordovit in lane five has taken a bit of a lead over Margaret Bymdeek. I am so sorry to Margaret's family if I'm pronouncing her, you guys' last name wrong. I'm trying so hard, I promise. Megan Baxley is coming in as a leader on her last 50. She only has two more laps to go. Perry Amati is in second right now. Flipping into her last 50. And Madeline Corbett, now in third, flipping into her. No, she's in fourth now. I am so sorry. Lawson Brantley has taken the third place spot all the way over in lane eight. Megan Baxley finishes into the wall with a time of 525.48 in first. And second, we have. Hari Amadi finishing with a time of 531.73. Lawson Brantley coming in third with a time of 539.04. And Madeline Corbett coming in fourth with a time of 539.52. In fifth place, we have Margaret Beimdeek with a time of 544.02. We have Caroline Murata in sixth with a time of 555.41. In seventh, we have Aaron Wolkowski with a time of 5.56.30. And in eighth place, we have Peyton Tolomi with a time of 6.07.37. And now we are on to the men, 500-yard freestyle. There is only one heat for these gentlemen for their 20 laps. And I will tell you who is in each lane, excuse me, after they go off the block. All right, and these gentlemen are off. In lane one for Lynchburg, we have Ben Myers. In lane two for the Generals, we have Jacob Tier. In lane three for the Hornets, we have the senior, Parker Hands. In lane four for the Generals, we have Luke Nagel. In lane five for the Hornets, we have Ahmad Woodson. In lane six for the Generals, we have Aiden Dold. In lane seven for the Hornets, we have Ryan Legg. In lane eight for the Generals, we have Stephen Ewing. And in lane nine for the Hornets, we have the junior, Landon Ellis.
coming in in the 100 split in first. Luke Nego with a split of Luke Nego flipping into his 200 with a split of 153.55. Second right now is Ryan Legg with a time of, with a split, excuse me, of In first place, that is still Luke Nagel. And second place, right now, we have Ryan Legg. In third, we have Ahmad Woodson. These men are really battling it out in the water right now. Lane five and lane seven, Ahmad Woodson and Ryan Legg are almost neck and neck right now. Only a few hundredths separating them. It's very it's barely visible to the naked eye. And Luke Nagel will be flipping into his last 50 for the 500 yard freestyle. And here we have Luke Nego coming in, finishing first with a time of 4.50.98. Excellent job by the general there on lane four. Coming in next in second place, we have the freshman Ahmad Woodson with a time of 5.02.66. And next we have the junior coming in third, Ryan Legg with a time of 5.05.37. And fourth, we have Jacob Tier with a time of 5.10.43. And fifth, Stephen Ewing with a time of 5.10.66. In sixth, we have Parker Hands with a time of 5.14.42. Seventh, Ben Myers. Eighth, Aiden Dold. And in ninth place, Landon, Le uh, Landon Ellis. Excuse me for that. Up next, we have the women's 100-yard butterfly. There will be two heats of this event. So this is four laps of fly, contrary to earlier, where it was eight laps of fly. Some of these ladies did swim the 200 fly earlier. 
All right, here we go. In lane one for the Hornets, we have Molly Shan. In lane two for the Generals, we have Clara Attar. In lane three for the Hornets, we have Delaney Kennedy. In lane four for the Generals, we have Bella Tarbett. In lane five for the Hornets, we have Emma Kate Russell. In lane six for the Generals, we have Jilly Cantrell. In lane seven for the Hornets, we have Curtin Ford. In lane eight for the Generals, we have Mary Ardoin. And in lane nine for the Hornets, we have Savannah Sullenberger. All of these ladies just finished their first 50 and they are now on their second 50. Also known as their last 50. Coming and touching the wall first, we have Bella Tarbett with a time of 1 minute .73. In second, we have Jilly Cantra with a time of 101.62. In third, we have Savannah Solenberger with a time of 102.20. In fourth, we have Anna Marie Harding with a time of 10. Sorry. I am so sorry. It flipped before I got to tell you guys. But now, we are on to heat two of two of the women's. 100 yard butterfly. And these ladies are off. In lane three, we have Emma Grace Bach from Lynchburg. In lane four, for the generals, we have We don't have anyone in lane four. Excuse me. In lane five for the Hornets, we have Kylie Hostetter. In lane six for the Generals, we have Paige McBoyle. And in lane seven for the Hornets, we have Sunny Strauss. Paige McBoyle's split for the first 50 is 28 56. Emma Grace's split is 31 41. Sydney Strauss's split is 31 86. And Kylie Hostetter's split is 32 67. And coming into the wall first for the Generals, we have Paige McBoyle with a time of 101.47. In second place, we have Sydney Strauss with a time of 108.07. In third, we have Emma Grace Spock with a time of 108.76. And in fourth, we have Kylie Hossetter with a time of 110.23. Up next, we have the men's 100-yard butterfly. There are two heats of this event, and I will announce who is in the first heat right after they go off the block. And these gentlemen are off. In lane one for the Hornets, we have Matt Fields. In lane two for the Generals, we have Peyton Crawford. Lane three for the Hornets, we have Eric Whip. Lane four for the Generals, we have Thomas Denton. Lane five for the Hornets, we have Henry Walls. Lane six for the Generals, we have Matt Fritz. Lane seven for the Hornets, we have Gavin Wietendorf. And in lane eight for the Generals, we have Malachi Eberly. Thomas Denton is first to touch the wall with a split of 24-28. And coming into the wall first, we have Thomas Denton with a time of 52.89. In second, we have Matt Fritz with a time of 53.12. And third, we have Peyton Crawford with a time of 53.39. In fourth place, we have Malachi Eberly with a time, I believe it was 54.41. It flashed really fast before I got to finish. But now we are at heat two of two for the men's 100-yard butterfly.
In lane three for the Hornets, we have Jacob Hodnett. In lane four for the Generals, we have Steven Savage. Excuse me. In lane five for the Hornets, we have Jackson Sitton. And in lane six for the Generals, we have Jackson Flower. Touching the wall first for the split, we have Jackson Flower with a time with a split of 25 16, I believe. And coming into the wall first, we have Jackson Flower with a time of 54.72. And second, we have Jackson Sitton with a time of 58.70. And third, we have Steven Savage with a time of 58.83. And in fourth, we have J Jacob Hodnett with a time of 59.45. Intermission. We are now going to take a 10 minute intermission. So I will see you guys back after 10 minutes. Private education is too expensive? Think again. At the University of Lynchburg, you can get a personalized education for the cost of a state school. If you're commuting and you get our top scholarships, you could pay much less. And you get all that without the hassle of giant lecture halls. Our faculty know your name here and do more than just teach. You might even do research together and plan out your next career moves. Every great college has a great city. For Lynchburg, we are near urban areas with lots of restaurants, shopping, and events. Plus, we are one of the top schools in the area. Come see for yourself. Get your career in the game by enrolling in the University of Lynchburg MBA program with an emphasis in sport management. This program opens the doors to new possibilities for a variety of careers. From being an athletic director or working in athletic administration to working for professional organizations, your favorite team to running a local parks and rec department. And employers are increasingly requesting and preferring individuals who have postgraduate education specifically looking for an MBA. And so the University of Lynchburg Sport Management concentration in the MBA program sets you up for success and it sets you apart from the many other people looking for jobs in the industry. Learn from winners. Here you will learn from professors and mentors who have spent their careers doing exactly what you want to do. Increase your marketability in an $83 billion industry. If you have a 3.0 GPA, the GMAT is waived. There's no application fee. Admissions occurs on a rolling basis. 
and our online program is ideal for working adults. When you enroll in this program, you enroll in the opportunity to learn from the best of the best. Your professors have a wealth of experience working in the sport industry that they share with you in the classroom setting. Get in the game by getting your MBA with a sport management concentration at the University of Lynchburg. Let's see now, Hollywood, here I come. Hey, I meant yeah. <laughs> Autographs there later. Let's to do physical therapy and kind of one of the best um, tracks to physical therapy was exercise physiology. And Brook Hill um, is the most amazing place, um, probably one of my favorite places to be. I came in working here through the Bonner program, um, just volunteering here as much as I could and it really does incorporate um, not only like the horses that I really like but also my major and that kind of really sparked an interest for my thesis. I'm really studying how how the therapeutic horseback riding affects children with autism. So far we have seen an increase in every single test that we've done, um, both the physical test and the emotional test. There's opportunities for every type of interest you could possibly have and the professors really do care about you on an individual level. Um, it's not just a big lecture with 300 people, it's really kind of one-to-one -one learning and I think that's really what makes it special. Hey, hey Tracy. Can, can I photobomb? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hard to see. <laughs> stranded. I hope she needs me first. She's fine. <laughs> Where are we going today, Tim? Monument Creek. How far? Debatable. <laughs> How do you think it's going to go? I think it's going to go well. I think we're going to have one big climb that's going to kind of suck. But then after that, we're going to have some incredible views. And it's happening. It's very mental. The worst part is when you first start, but you got to keep going and you take your breaks and you look up and you enjoy the view and it's all worth it. Hey mom, it's just Kate and I here. Hey Jean, eating some jerky? It's extra good at this spot. How's it going? Great. I love how that's what you ask every, what do you think? How's it going? Well, what else am I going to ask? What do you think about the river, Megan? Pretty cool. Well, great answer. Done, done. Megan, how was the open air toilet? How would you rate it on a scale of one to ten? Based on I don't know. At points I just wanted to give up, but <laughs> I didn't and I just kept pushing. Whoa! Hardcore, parkour! She on X game mode. Big.
When creating a sustainable future, your choices matter, even your choice of a college. The University of Lynchburg is the first college in Virginia to go carbon neutral. Our dining hall is green restaurant certified. We compost all of our food waste and purchase our electricity from landfill gas. Now we're turning a hazardous lake into a thriving urban wetland. When you choose Lynchburg, you leave a smaller footprint while building a better tomorrow. Lynchburg is all about you, your ideas, and your goals. We've got one professor for every 10 students, so you can get all the support you need. In the classroom, in the lab, or in nature. You'll learn by putting yourself out there, and we're right there with you. everyone and welcome back. We are on to the last four events of this meet today. In the last four events we are starting with the women's 200 IM. There are two heats of this event and I'll tell you who's all swimming after they go off the block. Which is now. They went, just went off the block. So for heat one, in lane one we have Grace Salkine, the junior from Lynchburg. In lane two, for the Generals, we have Haley Robinson. In lane three, for the Hornets, we have Caitlin Moore. In lane four, for the Generals, we have Sophia Rollo. In lane five, for the Hornets, we have Regan Leach. In lane six, for the Generals, we have Molly Penisi. In lane seven, for the Hornets, we have Caroline Inskeep. And in lane eight, for the Generals, we have Matt Kwasnick. In case you did not know, the 200 yard IM consists of all four strokes. And so it's a 50 of butterfly, a 50 of backstroke, a 50 of brushstroke, and a 50 of freestyle. Right now, these ladies are on the backstroke portion of this 200 yard IM. At the halfway mark, Regan Leach touches first. And now Regan Leach and Sophia Rollo are neck and neck in going into the breaststroke, to the first lap of the breaststroke, I should say. Regan Leach seems to have pulled ahead a little bit. Regan Leach turns first, going to the freestyle. But they are now, her, Regan Leach and Sophia Rollo are now neck and neck into the freestyle. Looked practically almost at the same time, popped up at the same time. You know, it's so crazy when you're swimming this and you can, when you breathe, you can see the person. And we have Sophia Rolo touching first with a time of 2.14.41. Regan Leach in second with a time of 2.15.09. And third, we have Mads Kwasnick with a time of 2.18.49. And fourth, we have Molly Panisi with a time of 2.20.34. Fifth, we have Haley Robinson. Sixth, we have Caitlin Moore. Seventh, Caroline Inskeep. And eighth, we have Grace Zalkine. We are now on heat two of two for the women's 200-yard IM. Excellent swim by the ladies in the first heat. And these second heat ladies are off. In lane three for Lynchburg, we have Peyton Tolomi. In lane four for the Generals, we have Amelia Makals. In lane five for the Hornets, we have Madison Claudie. In lane six for the Generals, we have Annabelle Simington. And in lane seven for the Hornets, we have Francesca Kuchna.
Coming in to touch the ball first for the butterfly is Amelia Malkoz with a split of 28-24. And then it goes Madison Claudie, Francesca Kuchna, Annabelle Simington, and Peyton Salome. Amelia Malkos turning into the brushstroke portion of this 200 yard IM. Now everyone in the pool is turning into the brushstroke portion of this 200 yard IM. Amelia Malkaz splitting a 39.46 for a 50 brushstroke portion of the 2IM is now onto her freestyle, her last 50 of the 200 yard IM. Coming in, we have Amelia Malkoz touching first with a time of 215.22. Touching second, we have Annabelle Simington coming in at a 228.25. Madison Claudie touching third with a time of 229.95. Fourth, Peyton Salome, 233.07. And Francesca Kuchna, fifth, with a time of 238.66. Up next, we have the men's 200-yard IM. There will be two heats of this event. And then after this, we are on to the final relays. And these gentlemen in heat one are off. In lane one for the Hornets, we have Kellen Campbell. Lane two for the Generals, we have Matt Snyder. Lane three for the Hornets, we have Owen Howery. Lane four for the Generals, we have Dalton Job. Lane five for the Hornets, we have Miles Fitzgerald. Lane six for the Generals, we have Reese Nelson. Lane seven for the Hornets, we have Ashton Watterson. And in lane eight for the Generals, we have Bennett Errett. Pretty close all around, coming in after the first 50. Dalton Job flipping, I should say turning, it's not necessarily flipping, for his freestyle portion of the 200 yard IM. Dalton Job has a pretty good lead and everyone else is currently fighting for second and third place. And Dalton Job comes into the wall Getting first with the time of 157.11. And in case you were curious about what his final 50 split was for the freestyle, it was 26. Oh, oh. Incredible swim by Dalton Job. In second place, we have Matt Snyder with a time of 205.51. 
Third, we have Bennett Arite with a time of 206.03. Fourth, Owen Howery. Fifth, Reese Nelson. Sixth, Miles Fitzgerald. Seventh, Callan Campbell. And eighth, Ashton Watterson. And now we are on heat two of two of the men's 200 yard IM. And these gentlemen from Heat 2 are off. In lane 3, we have Mason Swanner for Lynchburg. In lane 4, for the Generals, we have Will Baxley. Lane 5, for the Hornets, we have Trevor O'Neill. Lane 6, for the Generals, we have Harrison Cerrone. And in lane 7, for the Hornets, we have Zachary Bennett. Trevor O'Neill and Harrison Cerrone are neck and neck going into the back show. If you turn your attention to lane three, Mason Swanner, he is a Texas native. He is a senior here at the University of Lynchburg. This is his fourth year competing for the Hornets. Speaking of Texas native, I wonder how he's feeling about the Astros playing last night. Just a thought. Trevor O'Neill is now turning and is in first going to the breaststroke. And we have Harrison Cerrone turning in first for the 50-yard freestyle portion of this 200-yard IM. Over in lane seven, if you look, we see Zachary Bennett. I believe this is the third time we're seeing him today any event. I believe he did the 1,000, the two breast, and now the 200 yard IM. Incredible racing by Zach all around today. And all of the men and women here today. In first place, we have Harrison Cerrone coming in with a 205.53. In second, we have Will Baxley coming in at a 209.03. Third place, we have the Trevor O'Neill coming in at a 213.02. Fourth place, Mason Swanner, 220.37. And in seventh place, we have the Zach Bennett coming in with a 224.33. What an excellent way to finish off the individual portions of this meet. And now we are on to the final two events, first starting with the women's 200-yard free relay. For this event, I am just going to say everyone's last names because this event does go by quickly. All right, bear with me. So in lane one for Lynchburg, we have Sullenberger, Betts, Spock, and Rogers. Lane two for the Generals, we have Beimdeek, Utecht, Ross, and Baxley. Lane three for the Hornets, we have Russell, Kennedy, Hare, Foreman. Four for the Generals, Rice, Skoning, Tarbit, Martinson. Five for the Hornets, Ford, Wojciechowski, Burroughs, and Shore. Six for the Generals, Gaston, Ennis, Fisher, Dyerly. Seven for the Hornets, Murata, Corbett, Kolka, and Inski. And eight for the Generals, Jellick, Hackman, also Brooke, and Ahmed. Amidi, pardon me. Right now, it seems to be with the Generals in the first and second, and the Hornets just trailing behind a little bit. Wojciechowski picking up a very good Catch, I should say catching up. She split with a 26-0-0. Very awesome for Aaron Wilkowski. Savannah Burrows tracking down Bella Tarbett. It's up to the anchors now. Which would be Sophia Shore 
and Bryn Martinson battling it out for first and second break place. Bryn Martinson seems to have the lead right now. We are going into the flip. Sophia Shore comes up right next to her on the flip. They are battling it out for first place. And coming into the wall first will be the Generals with a time of 140.31. Lunchberg in second with a time of 141.28. The Generals are also in third with a time of 144.04. Excellent race by these swimmers. Excellent race. All right, we are now on to our final event of the day, which would be the men's 200 yard freestyle relay. Excellent job to the ladies. Now let's see what the men can do. As I said before, up next we have the final event of today's meet with the men's 200 yard freestyle relay. Again, I am also just going to say the last names of each of the swimmers in each of the lanes, and I'm going to try and go quick so I can get as many splits for you as I can. All right, and the gentlemen are off in lane one for Lynchburg. We have Honnett, Fields, Ellis, and Walls. Two for the Generals. We have Wider, Moore, Hovis, and Nagel. Three for the Hornets. Leg, Lima, Woodson, Hands. Four for the Generals. We have Smelzer, Eccles, Byers, and Fritz. Five for the Hornets. We have Jennings, Caton, Schnars, and Case Myers. Six for the Generals. We have Auslegger, Flower, Carr, and Eberly. Seven for the Hornets. We have Witt, Wiedendorf, Sitton, and Myers. And eighth. And in lane eight for the generals, we have Fricker, Dole, Smith, and Shawd. This is a close race, ladies and gentlemen. All within hundredths of a second within each other. It is a battle to the end. Lynchburg came out on top with Colin Schnars. Case Myers off the block first. Case Myers flips to the wall first. Let's see if he can hold on. He has a very good lead ahead of the other two, Washington and Lee. And Kasemeyer, first to the wall with a split of 21.40 with a time of 126.66. Incredible swim by these boys. Incredible swim. So in first place, we do have Lynchburg with a time of 126.66. Second place, Generals, 127.63. Third place, Generals, 129.28. Fourth place, Generals, 131.44. Fifth place, Lynchburg, excuse me, 132.23. Sixth place, Generals, 134.58. Seventh place, Lynchburg, 135.83. And in seventh place, or excuse me, in eighth place, Lynchburg, 135.96. Incredible racing today by the Hornets and the Generals. Excellent swims all across the board some best times, some best races. 
everyone looked very good. I will see if I can get the score for you in a moment. All right, cheers all around for each team. Incredible job on both ends. I do have the final scores for each. On the women's side, WNL came out with a 198 and UL 64. On the men's side, WNL came out with 175 and University of Lynchburg came out with an 87 with an older overall score of WNL coming out on top with 373 and Lynchburg with 151. Excellent swimming all around for the Generals and the Hornets. Yeah, thank you so much for tuning into this broadcast and I hope to hear from you next time. Thank you.